other policy that we can think about that operates very much like the minimum wage. And so all the insight that we've just obtained, you could also uh, obtain then for that. And it's a policy that um, policymakers have been talking about recently. It's something like a payroll tax, or more generally, a tax or a subsidy on, uh, on wages. So there has been a lot of discussion of cutting payroll taxes or reducing payroll taxes. This means reducing taxes on, wa on, on the wage. Uh, and this, in fact, will act you know, in the model exactly like a, a reduction in the minimum wage. So we can, we can look a little bit at that because a, a, a tax or a subsidy on wages will, is you know, de facto uh, the same as changing the wage from the firm's perspective and therefore it will affect the labor demand exactly like a minimum wage. So let's, uh, let's just talk about it for uh, just a little bit. Uh, This is a policy that's almost exactly the same as a you know, minimum wage policy, at least uh, in the model. So it's to have a tax subsidy on the wage. Uh, and that's, you know, that's basically the same as a change in payroll tax, because a payroll tax is a tax on the, on the payroll, so a tax on wages. Um, so, first question, exactly, you know, as we saw with the minimum wage, you know, like a little bit of institutional detail. So, would it be realistic to have a tax on wages or a change in payroll tax? Is it something that we can do in practice? Well, yes. So, in the US, anybody who is employed has to pay a payroll tax. Um, and, you know, that payroll tax is not huge, it's a couple of percent. Um, and it's split between firm and workers, actually. So, in the US, Uh, workers pay a little bit of a tax on their uh, on their wage, which is uh, you know that payroll tax, so tax that's taken away from their wage and, uh, when they receive their uh, their pay. And firms actually also pay a payroll tax for all the workers that they employ. So you know, firms pay some wage. A bit of it is taken as payroll tax on the firm side, and then they give a wage to the workers and then again a bit of it is taken away as payroll tax on the worker side and then you have your uh, wage net of tax that you take home after that okay and the payroll tax is used in the US to fund the unemployment insurance system uh, so all the money that's collected on firms and workers goes uh, to a big pot of money that's used to pay unemployment insurance uh, it's not huge it's a couple of just above, I think, 3.5% payroll tax on the worker side and just above 3.5% payroll tax on the firm side, okay? Uh, but so, because there is a tax, you could, you know, you could think about modifying it. And in fact, um, the current president has been pushing to eliminate the payroll tax. So that would be the equivalent of a reduction in, uh, in payroll tax. It hasn't been enacted, but it's a, you know, it's a policy proposal that, uh, that has been pushed by the White House to try to get rid of the payroll tax. So there will be a reduction in tax. During the Great Recession, the same idea was floated as well, to try to eliminate the payroll tax, so reducing uh, taxes. Uh, you could also think about increasing the payroll tax. So that would be an increase of uh, your tax on the wage. So clearly, there is an existing tax on wages, and that tax could be changed over time. So you know, it's, not, it's interesting to think about what are the effects, what, what would be the effects of changing that tax. Uh, so let's look, let's look at that. Uh, what would happen if you change um, your payroll tax in our model? Uh, so how does the payroll tax shows up in the model? How does it affect, uh, how does it affect what we see? Um, so let's call um, W. And let's call this the wage that's received by workers. Okay, so this would be your take-home uh, wage, really what goes into your bank account. Okay, so it would be like your wage 
net of tax. Okay. And then that's called uh, T, your payroll tax. So that's a tax that's imposed on your wage. In the US, you know, T, I think it's around 7%, just slightly above 7%. And it's used to fund the UI system, unemployment insurance system. Okay. Um, all right. So now, what is the wage paid by the firm? So it's the wage received by the worker, but of course, there is also this payroll tax on top of it. Who pays the payroll tax? You know. Uh, it's not really relevant. And, you know, I mean, here to simplify, we can assume that they. Firms, uh, firms pay the payroll tax. Okay, um, so here we're going to assume that firms pay the payroll tax. Okay, and yeah, for, uh, in the US, as I said, actually, it's split. Half is paid by firms, half is paid by workers. Uh, you know, let, let's assume that firms pay it, and then we can, and, and then let's see, you know, if you want, we can say that we're going to focus on the portion paid by firms, um, and then we're going to see what the effect uh, of, that, uh, of that tax paid by firms on the labor market. Okay, uh, so we have a payroll tax, it's, now we assume it's paid by firm. The wage that workers receive is W, so what is the wage that firms have to pay so that the workers receive W? Okay, when that wage So you know that the worker has to receive W, but you also have to pay a tax T on the wage. So the wage paid by firm is going to be 1 plus T times W, because anytime you know, they pay W, they have to pay that extra tax T on it, okay? where T is a payroll tax. And of course, the key thing is that uh, that wage is bigger than just W. So firms have to pay a higher wage than they would without uh, the tax. Um, 